everyone it's saturday and yesterday it was exciting because it was romper's birthday yesterday he turned two years old and i feel like just time passes so so fast it feels like yesterday when we got him <laughs> and he was only four pounds and now he's like almost 20 pounds um we got him a bunch of new toys and he's playing with one right now i got him like a bunch of rope toys and we got like a hard durable kind of rubbery kong toy because he rips those like cloth plushies and rope kind of toys in like five minutes like he goes through them so quickly because he really likes to like grind his teeth on them. I got him a bunch of toys to celebrate his birthday yesterday and he absolutely loves it. And then I actually groomed him myself two days ago for the first time. I always clip his fingernails and stuff, fingernails, nails on his paws <laughs> myself because I trust myself more than I trust other people to trim my dog's nails just because I feel like a lot of grooming places they're just not gonna be as careful as you are with your own dog this was the first time that I actually used like a shaver and everything on him to shorten his coat because he's he was getting really really floofy I mean it was getting wiry and really natted matted matted around like his the back of his ears and his like little leg fur this is a really long intro telling you guys about my dog's grooming sesh. But for those of you guys who own a dog, this might be interesting, so I'll just keep it in. I did debate on taking him to the groomers because there's a lot of great groomers in my area, but I just decided to do it on my own because one, I would save a lot of money, you know, and he doesn't need a groom that often. So I just decided to watch a bunch of YouTube videos, learn how to groom my own dog and that's exactly what I did. And he looks actually like pretty decent for me doing it myself without like any type of formal training or anything like that. So if I do say so myself, I think he turned out pretty damn cute. <laughs> you think you're cute, huh? Yeah, you're cute. Hello everyone, this is Editing Amy and I totally realized that I didn't preface this part of the video that you're going to see next so i'm gonna provide an explanation so you guys know exactly what i'm talking about what you're gonna see next is an unboxing of my chloe woody medium tote bag that i got for my birthday a couple months ago it's been a while i know it's long overdue and everyone was asking me to do an unboxing video for this bag however i decided to not do an exclusive like dedicated unboxing video for it because i have something else coming up that i am really excited to share with you guys so i decided to actually input the unboxing of the chloe tote in a vlog so that's what i'm doing right now so i hope you guys enjoy now let's go ahead and jump into the unboxing now <laughs> look at romper just chilling over there this box actually it came ripped i think it just got damaged when it was like shipping oh my gosh hello oh my gosh he just like wants attention all the time <laughs> i know i know okay so back to business it opens up like this and i actually opened this before just to check you know that everything is okay i retied the bow for you guys so i'm just gonna whoop. <laughs> And Romper's gonna come over here and try to sniff the bow. It's not a toy buddy. <laughs> there was this little really cute sticker. It came with these little, you know, bubble wrap stuff. This is the bag, like dust bag, but it's made of out of cloth. It's pretty, I think it's very minimal and I really love the aesthetic of Chloe. But that is the bag. And then I need two hands to unbox or take this out. So I'm gonna prop you guys up on a desk and then I'll show you guys the actual bag inside. Okay, hopefully this is not too, too bright because I do have a window right in front of me so it can tend to get a little too bright. It looks bigger than it actually is because it's in a dust bag obviously, but I, I'm so excited to style this bag 
for all of my summer outfits because I have never had, actually I've never had designer items like in terms of handbags until this, until last year. So I've been dabbling in designer handbags recently. And if you guys don't follow my girl, Samantha Mock, go ahead and follow her channel because she does all things luxury brands and handbags and all the good stuff in that realm. And I learned so much from her videos. So go ahead and check her out. But I was like consulting her about my other bag and she gives like, really amazing advice so go ahead and check her out i'm so excited to style this because i like i said i've never had a designer tote bag and i really really wanted one um i mean i never had designer anything until last year but i really wanted a kind of structured kind of book tote style um from dior but not the price tag of a dior book tote because those things are absolutely priced insanely so the chloe woody toe is i think in my humble opinion is more reasonably priced it's still really expensive and totally unnecessary but i i mean it's way less than the dior book toe just putting that out there if you guys are curious this is a canvas tote bag which is another thing that i'm kind of annoyed about because it's canvas so you're not even paying for leather at this point, but you're honestly just paying for a structured designer tote bag, literally. That's what it is. You're paying for the style and the name. I got really excited about this because it is so my aesthetic. You guys all know, I love my neutrals. I love things that go with every outfit. I love my brown tones and nudes and beiges and blacks and whites. So of course, I got this toe in this lovely, brown trimming it does have leather trimming around which and, and on the handles it does have leather so i feel like a little bit better that they did incorporate a little bit of leather at least to up the value of the bag but it is so so freaking adorable and chic i mean i cannot wait to wear this guys i'll put all the links and details in the description i'll put all the info down there for you guys to check out this is the medium woody tote they do have a large version of this and a smaller version of this but i bought the medium because it fits my body and my petite size the best because i didn't want to get the the smallest one because i still wanted it to fit a lot of things i tried on the large because that's actually the one that you know, I got for my birthday that size, but I exchanged it for the medium because the large looked, oh my gosh, it was like swallowing me whole. It was just too overwhelmingly big for my small frame. This is just the perfect size. Let me show you guys what it looks like, kind of like on me. This is the size, as you can see, the perfect size in my opinion. Like it doesn't look too big. It doesn't look too small and you can put so much stuff in here and it'll literally go with everything. And this material is like thick, sturdy canvas and it's so, so appropriate and really cute for summer. I cannot wait. And of course it came with these paper stuffings to keep its shape. They included like the authentic the, the what? Authenticity card. It's like, um, cardboard the inside is also just lined with um canvas like you know just linen i don't know the exact material but you guys can see it in the on the website it does come with a little pouch or like a side pocket and i got this in the color white brown i love it i love it so so much that is it for the unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it entertaining or helpful in any way if you guys are looking into this bag in particular or if you're interested in like a designer tote, this would be such, such a good choice. I want to say the price was around 800. I'm not 100% sure about that, but like I said, it'll be in the description linked. Definitely more affordable than some other ones that I've come across. Let me know if you do have any other questions regarding this bag. 
I haven't worn it out yet. Like you, this is this is me unboxing it for the first time. I purposely didn't use it or anything so I could unbox it for you guys. I don't know the wear and tear or anything or how it's holding up. Like I can't answer those questions, but you know, other questions I can definitely answer if I can. So leave them in the comments and let me know if you guys like it. I love it. So cute. So, 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 so cute. It is now 3 p.m. today. Snuck in a workout and a shower and I just got all ready for the day because Charlie and I are gonna go hang out with our friends Ashley and Zach. I feel like we hang out with them the most. <laughs> Before we head out um, around, I wanna say like 6.30, we still got like three and a half hours to kill. But um, I'm gonna sew a button because my shorts that I got from Zara, I, it's actually a matching set with this shirt. It's really cute. I just wanted to wear something a little bit more colorful so I can take some photos in them and post them on Instagram if you guys aren't following me over there. I feel like I say this in every single vlog, but I would love to see you guys over there because I do post more frequently, frequently, like almost every single day. These shorts are really cute, but I thought they were a little too big on me. They look kind of wide. It's not very flattering on me, but I think it still works when I have this shirt unbuttoned because when I had this this like all buttoned up, it just looked a little bit funky, but with like a mini tank top like this. Oh my gosh, so funny. I got this tank top from Amazon for about, I wanna say like 10 to $15. Super, super good deal. It's not the best quality by any means. It's kind of like Shein quality, if you know what I mean. Some of their stuff is good, but a lot of the stuff, the material is like super thin. And this one is relatively thin. I feel like it looks really good underneath this button up shirt. Um, and I love how it's like short sleeved and it is a linen material. I did have to uh, steam this because it looked like this at first. It's so wrinkly. Yeah, not a good look, but I'm going to fix the button because it is coming undone for some reason. I literally washed this once. These little jobs are super easy to do by myself. Like I don't have to ask a professional to do it or anything. I try to learn how to hem the bottom of jeans and make denim jeans and shorts like shorter or like tighter but i just i'm not like there yet <laughs> i can do most like simple stuff like fixing a button or taking the waist in a little bit if it's like you know a flexible fabric but if it's like denim it's so it's, it's a different ballpark i feel like i'm also drinking some coffee because i am getting a little tired this is the time that i get the most tired. I feel like around three to five o'clock in the afternoon is the worst to stay awake. My friends, Zach and Ashley, they just purchased a house not too far from us. They live around 30 minutes away. And so we're gonna hang out with them and take a peek at their new house. So it's going to be so exciting. I'm really excited to get a tour of the place. I'm just like really happy for them. Oh my God, hilarious. Uh, if you guys live in the US because I'm pretty sure cicadas are only a thing in the States. <laughs> I don't think they're anywhere else in the world. How are you guys coping with that? Because, um, your girl is not doing so hot. <laughs> I am not a fan of bugs or insects. Anything flying freaks me out. I prefer when insects stay low on the ground. Although I'm not scared of bees, which is funny because bees, I feel like they can actually hurt you, you know? Or wasps, I guess, can actually hurt you, but. Um, yeah, I'm not scared of them. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and I will update you guys what we're gonna do next. All right, I wanna show you guys the outfit for today because I just sewed on the button and made it like super secure and then I steamed my linen shorts. I think it looks really cute now. It still looks a little awkward in my opinion. I don't think this fits my body in the best flattering way, but I think this is much better and I don't wanna like get rid of this because I already spent my money on it and the tags are off so I can't return it. So I'm gonna make do with it. I just wanna incorporate a little bit more color in my wardrobe, but you guys already know I'm trying my best <laughs> for this season. 
to wear a little bit more color. Top and bottom are a matching set. The only thing is that I have to steam it or iron it because it is linen, so they get really easily wrinkled. In terms of shoes, I think I'm gonna just wear some nude wedges or sandals because I don't want to wear another like loud bold color or anything. For my purse, I'm gonna be wearing my Chloe tote bag that I unboxed earlier, and this is what it looks like. Ah, oh, it's so cute. I think this is like the ultimate summer outing outfit. It is just so cute. I can't wait to get some pictures with this tote bag. It is so, so cute.